Okay, so I've got some data here. I've got some names, first name and surname. They're all in one cell. What if I want to split them into two separate cells? Now, you might have seen another tutorial I've done where I use text functions for this, which is very good for understanding text functions and for doing more. But here is a really quick and simple way you can split these into first name and surname. First thing I'm going to do is highlight them. I'm going to go to my data tab up at the top here in the ribbon. And you'll see there's an option here, text to columns. I'm simply going to click on that and it will now talk me through a wizard to undo it. I'm now going to click on text to columns and I'm now prompted with a wizard that will talk me through doing this so it will actually split them for me. The two options I've got here is if it's delimited or fixed with delimited means does it have a space or a comma or a tab or something like that indicating where the data changes what separates each of the fields the fixed width is if it took up exactly the same space at every name started with five letters or something like that you would use the fixed width delimited very common to use we're going to use that and I'm then going to click on next it now wants to know what splits each of the fields. You can see here are the delimiters here. So if it was a tab, you could have that, semicolon, comma, or if it's other, such as maybe you used a colon, you would just type it in here and then you could untick the others. As you can see, you can have more than one selected. We want to choose space for this. So you can treat them as a one delimiter if it's got a space. If you want to ignore that space, then you would tell it that it would have quotes around it. So if you had quotes around something, it wouldn't see it as a space. You can see that when I did tick that space, if I untick it, it looks like it down here in the data preview. You can see it's still one name. You tick comma, doesn't do anything. Click on space. Now you've got a line there indicating the two separate fields. And if you had more, it would split each one of those up as well. All I need to do now is click on next. It wants to know what data goes into each column. For this, it's just text. You can leave it on general or you can click on text if you like. And then you can click on the next one as well. I'm going to leave that one on general. If it was a date, that could be quite important and you might just want to change it to a different date format. We've got it as day, month, year. If we were using it in the UK, that would be the one to go for. But it's not a date, so we're going to leave it on general. The other thing is we could um, use this as well for numbers and again I would just leave that on general there. You can also see if it's a column you don't want you can not include it. It says import. It's actually using the same wizard that is used for importing data as well if you're familiar with that. So you can see here it actually tells you general converts numeric numbers, numeric values rather to numbers, date values to dates and all the remaining ones. And if I click on advanced, you can see there's a decimal separator. So we use a full stop here in the UK. In Europe, they use a comma. And the thousand separator is a comma here as well. So I'm just going to leave that. And then I'm just going to click on finish. And hey, presto, it has now split these up into separate names. Don't forget, it has actually overwritten the data here. So if you wanted to keep that, you might have to have made a copy of that column first. So that is how you can split names where you've got first name and surname or any other data that's in one column into multiple columns.